Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Basic Business Statistics. I'm Dr. Daniel. I'm going to be your instructor this semester. But I bet you already figured that out, right? You knew that as soon as I walked in. You said, that guy is our instructor. And how did you know? Because I'm wearing a tie. You walk into a room wearing a tie, people think you know things. Well, that may or may not be the case. It turns out that simply having the PhD or wearing the tie, you can fool some of the people some of the time. But for a lot of people, you want more. And so I'm going to spend the rest of this semester trying to convince you that, at least when it comes to statistics, that I know things. So what I do, I do statistics and I know things. And one of the things that I know, or at least think that I know, is that you, like me, are excited to be here in basic business statistics. Even if this was not a required course, I know that you would sign up for a statistics class just like this one. Am I right? Okay, maybe not. Okay, let me ask. If this was not a required course, how many of you would say, you'd never catch me in a statistics course? Okay, so maybe I was wrong about what I thought that I knew. Maybe most people are not as excited about statistics as I am, or love statistics as much as I do. But I want you to know that even if you don't love statistics, that's all right. I'm not troubled by people not liking statistics. I know a lot of people are simply uninterested in statistics. And there's other people that find it a little intimidating or scary, or maybe they're just resistant to the idea of doing stats. Maybe some people say, I hate stats. And that doesn't bother me because that is why I have a job. In fact, I've made a career out of doing other people's math homework for them. So I'm gonna teach you everything that I know about basic business statistics. I'm gonna help unpack some very complex concepts and try to explain them clearly and simply in a way that all of us can understand. Along the way, I'm gonna teach you statistical software, skills that you can actually use in your career. In fact, let's talk about career for just a moment. How many of you would say that I am going into a career in which I am not likely to use statistics? Anyone? There are still many people who think, I'm not going into a statistics-oriented career. So given that, given how many of us are not going into stats or a career that's going to use stats, why is this course required? Why does the school require that you take a statistics course? And the answer is that no matter what career you go into, you are going to encounter numbers and statistics and facts, figures, graphs, charts, claims of truth. And we need a way to evaluate those claims of truth. And so to do that, I wanna teach you three skills as we move our way through this course. Now these three skills, I think, will help put you in a mindset that will allow you to excel understanding the world as it really is through science. These three skills each begin with S. And the first one is the scientific method. Now the scientific method is the way that we have to organize our curiosity, to understand the only world that we know for sure that we truly have, and see it in the way that it truly exists. The second skill that I'm gonna teach you is statistics. I'm gonna teach you some skills that will allow you to evaluate numbers, to understand the world as it is quantified with data. And the third skill that I'm going to teach you is skepticism. You see, that scientific method is not the perfect way that we have for understanding the world. It's just the best way because the scientific method demands that we demand evidence before belief. We're not going to believe without sufficient evidence. We're gonna do things like 
placing our bets before the horses run. And what I mean is we're going to establish what statistical criteria we expect in order to determine that one mean is different from another. Skepticism is a frame of mind that demands evidence before belief, not seeing the world as we wish that it was, but seeing the world as it truly is. What then is basic business statistics? How are we going to apply these skills that we learn? I'm gonna teach you essentially four things in this course. Number one, descriptive statistics. We're gonna learn how to take a group of numbers and display them in graphs, quantify them into means and standard deviations, describe data. Now the second is probability, calculating the likelihood of an event occurring. The third, sampling, learning about samples and populations. What is true of a sample should be true of the population from which that sample was drawn. And then we'll combine those first three in something called hypothesis testing. We can evaluate the probability that the mean of a sample represents the population from which it was drawn. Hypothesis testing will combine descriptive statistics, probability, and sampling. And those are really the four things that we're gonna learn in this course. And then we'll move on next semester to applied business statistics. In applied business statistics, we're going to learn t-tests, ANOVA, repeated measures ANOVA, correlation, regression, simple regression, multiple regression, non-parametric tests, time series analysis. We are going to learn how to apply all of the skills that we've built in this basic business statistics course. So if you dread statistics, Maybe you've taken a statistics course previously and you didn't do very well. Or maybe you say, I don't like math. If you hate statistics, I've got good news. You have signed up for a course taught by someone who loves statistics. And I'm gonna spend the rest of the semester teaching you what I know. Because that's what I do. I do statistics and I know things. Oh, and I do my own research. Seriously, I do my own research. And I'm gonna explain exactly what I mean by that in this next lecture about statistical and scientific research. <laughs>